Hey, welcome back. We're gonna do chest again today. I'm, I always wear the same clothes when I do chest apparently. That's how I do my washing, so this is just next in line. It's a Sunday. You're watching this on a Tuesday. I promise I do have other gym clothes, but it, it just this is just how it ends up. So also hopefully you can send me some some clothes if you really want to. Gucci gang. My chest is feeling super tight today, I don't know why. Like it's not sore, but it's like tight. Even if I just do this, like I can feel it. Maybe I like slept, flexed, like this. I don't know, it's, we'll see how the session goes. Like it's not starting off great. Maybe as I warm up, like I can actually move it properly. On that struggle bus So, I think I figured out why my chest is so tight. I had like a boat load of sushi last night. Like an actual boat load. I'm not over exaggerating. Like I think I went to like a food coma and then I woke up and then I ate the rest. That's what that it was. So I think I ate like too much carbs and I didn't drink enough water. So like my chest feels so, so tight. So I think I'm gonna do <laughs> flies after this. I don't know if I can actually go heavier with bench because it's actually more painful going down than pushing it back up. So, Note to self, don't eat a boatload of sushi before chest day <laughs> next time around. Okay, first exercise was a flat bench. Like I said, I have like this weird, I don't know, it feels like super tight. It feels like I took a diuretic before a show and like all my electrolytes are like messed up. I don't know how to explain it. Like it's really sore. So I'm gonna, hopefully, I'm gonna do seated flies now. If this doesn't work, then I don't know, my chest, uh, I wanna cry, it's really sore.
Okay, wellness update. This is actually really stretching out my chest nicely. I should have started with this. Feeling a lot better getting into the session. Let's see how long this lasts. I might still snap something. Next exercise, because I'm a little pansy today, I'm gonna do some incline on the Smith machine. Oh guys, I don't know why I'm feeling so fragile. I'm trying to think of all the things I did, like I ate sushi and then didn't drink enough water, and now I don't know. I'm just, I'm just being a little pansy today. We'll see how this goes. It feels better as the workout is progressing, like I'm getting into it, but not really. You know what I'm saying? So. Okay, so I think this might might be the last exercise. Just normal pec deck press, chest press thing. Not all your workouts are gonna be like incredible, but the important thing is you need to keep showing up, even though you had like a weird or like shitty session. Not that this session was shitty, but it was like subpar if you know what I'm saying. Okay, I just decided that this is not the last exercise. I'm gonna do floor presses after this. That will be my last exercise. Okay, so floor presses is for big boys. I don't know, no, I'm lying. So floor presses, if you have like a pick imbalance, which means your one pick's bigger than the other one, really builds it up quite nicely. And don't bring your elbows to the floor completely. So you want your triceps to touch the floor but only slightly and then you're gonna come back up so it's quite a focused movement I really forget about this movement but it really increases your bench um, and it gives you a nice stretch and you know that my chest is not feeling a hundred percent today
Okay, that was the workout for today. We're done. This was a subpar session. Like I said, not every session is going to be like intense Gucci gang, living your best life. But it's important to, steep, to still keep coming to the gym. So thank you for joining. Please subscribe and then share my channel with your grandparents. I'm just going to sleep here now. I'm done. Okay, bye.